Hey everybody, how are you today? I just got back. I had lunch with Karen. So who all is here? I hope Charlotta is feeling better. Let's see. It looks like she's here. Oh, good. Hi, Glum. We missed you too. Hey, Elizabeth. Ms. L. I know that's Linda. Hi, Teresita and Kaya. Lisa, Carrie, Lynn. Hey, Susan. Who else is here? Denise, Diane. Did I say Diane? Karen, Lori, Karen, Joellen, Leslie. Hi, Anne. Yes, so we have a cool announcement today. I'm going to wait until a couple more people get on. Am I actually, this is weird. I can't see if anybody, I don't see my stream here. I don't, this is weird. I have never seen this on my, it looks like I'm live. Okay, I can't see how many people are on here. That's weird. You never know, guys. Every day it's another uh, adventure. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we are going to finish our little journal. Actually, we have two. Okay, this was my second one that I did. This is the one I think I'm going to do for my daughter. Good to see you, Denise from Seabeck, Washington. And Lorelai, is that, did I say that right? I'm going to suffer you again. Karen, come on. Yes, you're all here. I know, it doesn't have any count. Isn't that weird? I wonder if I did this wrong. It says add item. I don't know what that is. 11 on watching on YouTube, 40 on Facebook. Okay, that sounds good. I have a big one. All right, well, I'm glad you guys can see. All right. So, hey, Jen White and Michelle, good to see you. Here is our second one. Laura Lee. Okay, got it. Thank you. Hi, Carrie. All right. So here is our bigger one. And this was the first one that I did. Okay. And we did put a closure on this one and I like it. And we had lots of ideas for what we want to do with it. And this one was kind of, this was what we did in class or in, you know, on the live. And this is just a little one. Okay. So we're going to put together the insert book, and then we'll decide like what side, what size I want to put it in. Okay. Hey, Amy Powers. All right. So we're going to do this fun little insert book and I've used a 65 pound, um, just craft card stock. Hugs to you too. All right. Everybody's sending hugs. Aren't we a nice group? All right. So here's what happened. I had a call today. It went long. I met Karen for lunch. Then I went to my scrapbook store and I got home a half an hour ago. So this may not be as great as I thought it would be in my head, but we're going to figure it out. Okay. So I did buy some paper. And in case you're wondering, this is the die that we started out with. This is called pocket notebook. No, this is the skinny mini book box, but we just used this part and we're just going to make the book. We're not making the box. Okay. And we used our beautiful leather that is red on one side and pink on the other. Okay. You were at Ronnie's too. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wish I had known you were headed there. Could have come to lunch with us. <laughs> oh, well. Tis blinking freezing. Oh, okay. I guess that's bad. <laughs> I can't figure out all the, the bad words <laughs> in other countries. <laughs> all right. So, all right, then are we ready for the announcement? Okay. Yesterday I announced the May May event. So today I want to tell you about, let me get it. All right. You can't tell what it is from here, but this is the link that goes to my affiliate. It was a big, long thing. I didn't want to put it up there. So if you guys are interested in this event, you can just copy this link and paste it. That will bring you to the event, which is called Bellicon 2024. And some of you went to the one last year, which was great. 
we had it down in Texas and it was really fun. Um, due to a lot of different things, we were going to do an in-person event, but it wound up being the instructors went and did in person. And then it was, um, you could do it online and there were kits and things that you could get so that you would have everything you needed to do the classes. So it is going to be done in a similar way. And I am going to be joining Anne and a bunch of other instructors down in Texas. We're going to have a good time. You can wear your pajamas. You can wear whatever you want. We're going to have lots of classes, guys, and all different kinds of things. Some of the teachers are coming back from last time. Some are going to be different. So go ahead over to the site and take a look at it. Um, Anne is in the chat. If you have any questions, you can ask her. It's going to be April 17th to 19th. I wrote it on my other page. Okay. So, where is it? Yeah, 17th to the 20th. Okay. So, the uh, tickets are on sale now, and all that information is over there. This is my link. So, if you go through this link, then I get a percentage of the sale. So, you know. I would love if you would uh, go through my link and if you're going to take it, you know, then I get a little commission, which is always nice. Then I can go out into thrift stores and buy new stuff. So, uh, <laughs> and share it with you guys. So anyway, that is our event that's coming up. I'm very excited about it. I'm happy because I'm going to get to go there and I get to see my friends and we get to all create together. And we're going to have a blast like we did last time. Hopefully I don't have, this time my plane doesn't leave at 5 a.m. It's 7.45. <laughs> Much better. You guys know how I am. Although actually I have still got jet lag from that trip to Germany. Today I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I went to bed early for me, which was midnight. And then I just didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so I went back to sleep for a little while, but... Anyway, that is the event, and we are going to have a great time there. So I hope you sign up and uh, find out more information. I think that there is, you can either get it with the uh, kit or without. So you might want to think about the kits are going to be limited, but uh, they will be available if you want to get them. Okay. Did you guys see my pretty banner? This was a challenge that I did with a quilting group I was in. And on the back, it said 2014. I knew it was a while ago. We each did like six of those letters. And then we passed them around and tied them together. And I love it. And I brought it to an event that I was at yesterday and we used it. And I just thought it was so cute. All right. Wait a minute. I'm missing all the comments. Jeez. Um, what have you missed? Linda Cooper. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Are there questions? Uh, will I get to see Trinity? No, Tr Jen, Trinity is in Maryland. And my son just said that uh, she's in a, a play. And so he was putting that down, um, the date. So I will get to go see her. Yes, there is a cost, Karen. I think it's $99. Um, let me see if... Anne has mentioned this. Yeah, this we, this time there's double the instructor. 16 instructors. We basically doubled it this time. And yes, there is a cost. But the good thing is, wherever you are, you can come to this. Um, that's the fun thing about these virtual retreats, that everybody can be there no matter where you live. Okay, limited swag bags. Yes. A week after your knee surgery. Oh, Leslie. One can do the retail. <laughs> Leslie. Yeah, the swag bag. They were huge. They I couldn't believe that. Hey Janie Jane, how are you? All right. Thought it said be tidy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, Karen needs funds for May. Okay, that's true. Because we're we have a trip. We're going, I'm going to the UK. I, this is the year of trips, guys. I'm doing it, you know? Hey, Laura. 
All right. So any questions about the event, you can put them in the chat and Anne can answer them. Or you can just go over to the site and take a look. If you want to sign up now, that's great. If you want the swag, it definitely was worth it. There was a lot in there. They have lots of sponsors. Okay. Anne does an amazing job. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I got that all wrong. All right. You signed up for Maymay's. Okay. You time off, took time off work. I know there's a lot. An Australian trip, Michelle. I know. All right. Maybe next year. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Oh, I'm happy you're here. We were just talking about an online event, which I messed all up. So I'm going to let Anne do that. Uh, I'm, I'm in two events and I think I messed the prices up. So either click on that link. Wait, let me put it back in here. So if you want to grab this link, you can go over, see what is up with it and see if you want to sign up. It's going to be fun, guys. It's so worth it. Okay. All right. So let me go back to comments. All right. You hate this winter. You're so over it. Oh, yes, Chris. Aussie trip would be good. All right. Well, you know. <laughs> All right. Puerto Rico after hurricane season. <laughs> I would travel all the time if I could, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Karen Beers. All right. I did want to show you guys something, and it may be too late. I got these a couple weeks ago, but I was over at Big Lots, and I know all of you don't have Big Lots. Thank you. Thanks, Ann, for sharing that link. Okay. Look at these. Now, where do you think we could use these? In a journal? Yeah. There are bobby pins. So I'm thinking for this journal today, how cute would that be? Now this, it's kind of sideways, but that's all right. You know, to hold your place. I think these are so cute. So I got several sets. I mean, 99 cents. All right, wait a minute. Here's another one. Also cute. Now some wouldn't work because they're kind of going the wrong direction, you know. But, I mean, a heart is a heart. Look at this one. I think that is so cute. Here's another one. They're like little enamel pins. I mean, you could use them in your hair, but I'm thinking use them in your journal. So, anyway, there were three different styles, so I did get some. And they would be cute little bookmarks. Yes. And I may, if you order anything, I may be including some in there. Okay, just saying. Okay, let me, you call them hair grips. Okay. Yeah, we call them like hair clips, I think. <laughs> hey, Lenine, good to see you. Bobby's. Yeah, it's a bobby pin with a cool little thing on it. All right, let me turn the camera down because I want to show you what I got at my local store. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Why is that not going down here? Wait a minute. What is happening? Why is... I don't know what I'm... Cancel? Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did. All right, now I can see my little comments and everything. Good. Okay. I don't know. I must have clicked the wrong screen or some stupid thing. All right, guys, I got some 49 and market paper. Isn't it pretty? These are my friends, Janine and Katie. Look at this. Isn't that just the prettiest? Yes. You know your papers, Lenine. You work in a scrapbook store. Now, I don't know what your thoughts are on using pink and red together. I used to hate it. I mean... It just grated on me. I would never think about doing it. But I don't know what happened. But somehow along the line, I like it now. So hopefully my daughter does. But if not, I'm probably going to keep this other one for me. So we're going to see. I mean, look at these. Wait a minute. Let's get the pink and the red together. What do you think? I think that's a pretty good match, wouldn't you say? Yes. You want it to be spring on New Year's Day. 
Charlotta, you're living in the wrong country, girl. <laughs> you live in Sweden. All right. I also couldn't resist because I know eventually I'm going to make a teal journal. Look at this. Isn't that just the prettiest paper? You love pink and red together, Amy? Yes, you like it. I know. Aren't they pretty? They just called my name. I always look at theirs first. So this is what I'm going to use today. So let me show you what I have so far. Oh, all right, Leslie. Good job. Gorgeous and not a pink fan. Love that paper, though. Okay, now here's another thing. Karen Bierce and I just had lunch, and we finally exchanged Christmas presents, and look what she brought me. I mean, these would work, too. Aren't they adorable to put these in that book? That light pink, and it kind of brings in the uh, tan, too, of the craft. So look at these cute little pockets that she made and little tags and cards. Aren't they cute? You're glad you don't live in the north of Sweden even longer. And look at this, how that matches. Isn't that amazing? All right. So here's what we have to use in our book. And here is the base. So let me just show you how I did this. And I do have some pages that I marked the dimensions. Okay. So let's start with just the very basic one, which is, and you can take one paper that you want for a base, or you can, you know, combine that however you want, or you could use like just, you know, papers that you have. You don't have to do a base and then add this. The reason I did is because I want to add, now see the way that we're going to put it together is they're each going to have separate hinges and I want to cover that. So I want to take this paper and it will also kind of support it. And I want to make like little covers here, you know, that we can either make a little pocket in here or we can just use that as a mat and then do words here or stamps or whatever. Helen, you would like to make a journal. Have you any tips to start one? Yes, yes, I do. You know what? You can go to the video that we did yesterday or we did on Tuesday. So you can scroll down. And in that, we made this journal. This is like the base. And today we are adding the pages. So just watch along. And then if you have any questions, um, just ask. And also, if you want to join with a bunch of other people who enjoy making journals, come on over to the Eileen Hall Fan Club on Facebook. It's our Facebook group. We have over 8,000 people in it. We have a great community. Everybody shares what they're working on. And like if when I'm not available, they'll answer questions. If you have any, you know, problems. All right. You're going to the mailbox. All right, Linda. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is cut a bunch of different shapes of paper. Now this is the basic one. Okay. This is just, I went through, and, oh, thank you, Glum. And I took my book, and this will work with any one that you have, okay? Any journal that you have. Um, mine are based on dies, Helen, but, you know, you can buy a, a base if you want and just, you know, put it together that way, however you want. But it's a basic idea of how to do a journal, okay? So this one measures... Uh, six and three quarters by four. Okay. So what I decided was I want to do it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do mine at six and a quarter. That gives me a quarter inch on the top and a quarter at the bottom. And then I did it at three and a half because I don't like when the pages stick out. But if you added stuff like tabs or something, that would even also be inside this book. I mean, some I do that I like when they stick out, but, you know, however you want. Thank you, Glum. Hi, Linda. Don't worry about it. We're just kind of getting going, as usual. All right. So my pages are, like I said, three and a half by six and a quarter, okay? So let me show you how I came up with my sizes, all right? I decided that the way I want to put this together is I want to hinge it with a half an inch hinge 
like this. And then I'm going to attach all of my pages together, okay? So here is one piece. So this is going to measure four by six and a quarter. And then I'm going to score at a half an inch. And then I could add in, I could do a whole book like that. But I did some other little things, like this one has like kind of a little belly band here. This one, that's a plain one. Uh, this one is a fold out with pockets. So you can do them all different ways. This one, I was going to hinge and have pa pages coming down from the top so you can open it up and, you know, journal underneath. So that's a trifold. This one is sticking. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Well, this was a cool one. Okay, this one is a spot where you can put little gift cards or tuck little, let me get a, a little tag here. You know, this could tuck in here really cute. So for notes or whatever, but I kind of got some glue on here, but that's okay because I'm going to cover that with, um, I'm not going to cover all of these because I kind of like the brown. Uh, this one also... Did I, I closed that one in because I wanted these to just stay in there. You know, if this was open, it would be flopping around. But there was one where I did a page. Like, uh, so this one's paper is kind of thick. Oh, I did it sideways. So this one has like a little pocket in it. Okay. All right. So anyway. I'm going to show you how I put it together. Then you can kind of combine things however you like. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, I used eight and a half by 11 paper, which is, uh, don't make me do these centimeters, Charlotta. Um, looks like 22 almost by, um, 28 and a third. <laughs> Okay. In Glum's use, she took the dictation. Man, she is good. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this widthwise on here, and I'm going to do six and a quarter because I know that's how tall I want my pages to be. Then we're going to take four inches and four inches, right? Because we want three and a half plus your half inch. So let's do, do a couple of these and then we'll score them. They're all going to go together a little differently. And later I can put these measurements up. I meant to do that. I wrote them down <laughs> for the record. So I want them seven, seven across. Cause I want three and a half, three and a half, and then six and three and a quarter. Okay. So this is like a pocket one. All right. You bought the items that were on Hobby Maker. Oh, oh, good. Well, good to see you, Helen. Yeah. Okay. So that's one way to do it. All right. These are the more complicated ones. But basically, you want to get a couple of these. These are going to be like your standard pages. And you could do a whole book like this. If you didn't want to do any of the pockets or anything, that's fine too. Okay. Okay. So we could probably get one more here, or we could do a half a page, but let's just do one more, six and a quarter by four. Okay, so now we have three of them. All right, now I'm just going to take my little scoreboard and look at all these measuring things. Then we're just going to score these at a half an inch. Okay. If I can see the half inch and get the glue off of my scoring tool here. All right. So half inch. And I would do a bunch of these because they're nice fillers. Half inch. Oh, this one. Okay, so here's this. Okay. Oops, that one went out of line. Big finger got in the way. All right. See that? That's kind of goofed up, but it's not going to matter. Don't worry about it. All right. Now I'm just going to fold these. Oh, 
we'll score them again when we get going. Okay, so now we have three of those. Now we're going to take another sheet and let's do the long one okay so this one is six and a quarter tall but we're going to go this way we're going to use this whole piece here okay and then we're just going to cut it at six and a half and then we'll go from there or six and a quarter excuse me okay all right and keep all these because we can use them for other stuff all right, now we're going to do a half inch, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So what I'm going to do is just instead of having to measure and take all that effort of messing with my brain, I'm just going to do one half inch here. And then I'm going to do three and a half inches, which would be four, right? And I'm going to do... One, two, three and a half. Uh, one, two, three and a half. All right. That comes out to 11. So we're in good shape. Now, I think on this one, I did trim this off a little because we want it to fold into each other. All right, Anne. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Anne. All right. Okay. You use two typewriters. I love typewriters. They are just the best sound. Okay, so we're going to do this in two thirds. So these should all match up. All right, I did trim a little bit off this last one because if I want to fold it in this way, it's got to be a little smaller. See what I mean? Okay, so you have the option. You can fold it out like this or fold it like that. Okay. Yes, I, I have this really pretty little light blue typewriter. I just love it. And I was at a show and I found the ribbon to go with it. I will write down the inches. <laughs> I will write down the centimeters for you, Charlotta. All right, now what's the other one? This one is a double. No, wait, that's this one. All right, so this one, we're going to do a half an inch here three and a half. So that's four. So another three and a half is seven and a half inches. So that's seven and a half by six and a quarter. All right. Let me get another piece of paper. I'm not going to make a million of these because I want to show you how I'm going to decorate them, but we need to have a base. Okay. So once again, six and a quarter. We might maybe keep a two out of it. Um, let's see, I've got too many tools here, I would say. All right. Half an inch. Four. Seven and a half. Now, do we have enough? No. I was hoping we would have enough for another four inch, but. You're going to cut that off right there. Okay. All right. So now we have another one. You guys get, get what I'm doing? I could use the cover die. That's true, Glum. But I like them a little bit smaller. But I could totally do that. All right. Now this one is going to be like a little pocket. Okay. So if you glue all around here... We can have a pocket or you can make those little slots. Okay. So I think we have like one of each. So let's, let's put it together. All right. Let me move this. Thing. And, oh, wait a minute. No, we have to cut our papers. Okay. So let's do one red and one pink. Okay. So let's trim off the strips. These are just pretty anyway, you know? Right. I don't know why, but I like to cut from the bottom up. I feel like it can lay flat and yeah, these colors, I mean, they're just pretty. Okay, so we want them a little bit smaller 
than this six and a quarter, which is good. So we can cut them at six, then that's two sets, okay? So we're not wasting, all right? The other thing is we can use either side of the paper, this one or that one. So we do wanna look at the back side, but this side doesn't matter as much as this one, I would say. So let's cut these both in half. This way. Just make sure. All right, so let's cut them at six. And this is thick. All right. Okay, so now we have a lot of paper that we can use inside to mat our pages, okay? Now we did three and a half, so I would do three and a quarter. So let's cut a couple. Let's cut one and just make sure it's right. Look at how pretty that is. Is that not amazing? Let's see how it fits. Very nice, yes, perfect, yeah. I mean, just that is beautiful. So this is like, we can do a lot on here. So the good thing too is you can use the front or the back and either of them are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest three and a quarter. We're not gonna quite get full ones, but we can use this for like a bookmark or a tag, okay? So you're gonna get like six of each color out of one piece. All right can't wait to do this. Even if my daughter is like, what the heck is this thing you're giving me? I don't care. I think it'll be fun. I'm going to see her. So I have to finish this because Trevor is turning five on Saturday and we're going to the party. So I'm going to see her. I think I have enough for now and I might want different sizes. So I'm just going to wait on the others. All right, so let's start putting this together and decorating, okay? Yes, I love these washes too. They're so, so pretty. Okay, let's just test it in our book, make sure. Yep, that fits nicely right inside, okay? All right, let's start putting it together. Now, you're going to need some good glue. I finally took mine and I put it in one of these smaller bottles because it was running low. And then it, I know it sounds crazy, but I could never find my pin. So I took a piece of Velcro and I just stuck it on here. Now, occasionally I will stab myself, but still it's worth it to have it here. Yes, they could be pockets or tucks. All right, this is making me nuts as usual. Why? Will this not stay where I want? Okay, so think about it in your book, how you would like to arrange these. Let's just do one easy one to start, okay? We'll just do two pages together, all right? So here we have our hinge, and this is when you might want to really fold this down. Take your bone folder and give it a good fold. There's something very satisfying about doing that. <laughs> and then you're going to take your glue and just give a good application down here. Don't put it too close to the end or it might squish out. Okay. All right. And then you're going to take this one, which the tab is folded back. <laughs> that doesn't hurt as much as a blade would, Leslie. All right, wait a minute. Okay. Then you're just going to like butt these up together. So kind of pat them down, press. And if you see any glue coming out, just wipe that off with, you know, a cloth or something. Okay. All right. Just make sure these are lined up evenly. Okay. So now we have this one waiting to get hinged on to the next page, all right? Now, this one was a little tricky, this trifold. I wound up putting it at the back, but actually, let's see what would happen. It wasn't that I was worried. It was the last page that's like, wait a minute, where? what is that going to hinge on to? So I just put mine at the end. Let's wait on that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, here's our little pocket. Now, if you wanted, you could get your corner rounder, hang on, let me find my, not corner rounder, a circle punch. I have my, oh man, just quit, what the heck? Sorry, guys. My computer is out of room and it tells me that all the time. Okay, so now I have my corner or my circle punch. So I'm just going to do this so we can get in at what we're going to put inside. And we are going to do, wait a minute, we want to have, this. actually, you know what I wound up doing was I glued this down and I cut that open. But we can have that be a something that opens out. That'd be all right. Might have to do it this way. Oh, actually, that might work with this. We can either go that way or that way. And then this would fold. Oh, actually, this works out pretty well. So you can see. As long as you have a tab left over to attach to the next thing, you can really make it work the way you want. All right, so I'm going to do this. I think that would work fine. All right, that wasn't quite the plan, but <laughs> you know how it is. It doesn't always go according to plan. Pretty much ever. All right, so just make sure this is flat and press down and it's really no one has crashed <laughs> what you have people putting a new roof on uh-oh <laughs> one's going underground okay so this it could be a pocket still if i did yeah let's do that I'm just going to put some glue here and here. All right, you can see I'm kind of winging this, but that's the fun of it. All right, yeah, that'll work. All right, you just have to give it a minute. I think the craft paper just doesn't dry as well as like a white paper would. Uh, this is artist... Uh, Art glitter glue, Helen. But I think the Nuvo works pretty well too. Whatever you have. All right, so now we have one page, another page. We have a little pocket in here. Now this is going to attach to my trifold. And I think I'm going to put that on the back. Just make sure. Yep, that lines up pretty well. And what I'm going to do is a traveler's notebook binding. So, oh, geez. Don't do that. If you can help it. All right. And let's just put this on here. You can see how it's pretty much however you want it to be. You can make it work. My other one is a different configuration, but, you know, I like to use the big long page because I don't like to waste a whole page of paper. So now I'm back to my beginning. I have a strip over here, all right? So just wipe that stuff off because that's going gonna, gonna to stick. All right, so now we have one page, two page, pocket. Let's put something in here so you can see. Okay. So that's cute. You could do a nice little journaling card in there. Here is your trifold, which pulls out. Or um, the way we're going to bind this is Traveler's Notebook. So what I would probably do is I would put my elastic in here, which would keep it kind of contained without that coming out, unless you wanted it to. All right, what else do we have? Let's do this last one. And this one, we could just do a plain old 
Oh, wait a minute. We had one left over, right? That's a little big, so let's just trim that off. And go to three and a quarter. All right. And then maybe we'll just put that last one on. So good. I'm using up my scraps. So you can see how easy it is to just keep going on and building up what you like, what you're going to use in your book. Okay. And then we'll put our last page on. Okay. Good job. Thank you, Leslie. Fingers crossed. Yes, whatever you have. Try it, you know. All right, and then let's just do this last one. This one's coming up a little, so add a little more underneath. I think I am, but I can't tell. All right, so what's happening? Is every is anyone else going on trips this year? I hope so. <laughs> the only one, the only maniac that's saying, why am I doing this? All right, so let's make this be our last one. And this will just fit nicely, I think, in this little book here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Once we start putting stuff on it, you've got art glitter, Oh, well, tacky glue, cosmic shimmer. Oh, yeah. You, one of those is going to work, Helen. All right. So let's just add our last page. And then we're going to decorate it. Just so easy. Okay. And that one seems a little shorter. Maybe I didn't need to cut that much off. So. Once we get our our pretty pages in there, I don't think you're going to notice a little bit of a difference. Okay. You went on a trip to the DMV to register. <laughs> they rejected you. What? Because you use pencil on a form? Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Six and a half hour drive to see me. Oh, thank you, Karen. Disney in July. That sounds fun. All right, let's start decorating. I mean, we can just, what I would do is just go through. I love that. I want to put that on my cover. I think that is beautiful. And when you open this book, you know, this red is going to be showing. So I think that's a nice opening, don't you think? There is, you must use pen rule on the form. Oh, my Lord. All right, now here's the other thing. You could make this into like a little pocket if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to do that because it's the front page. I just want to put it on there. So I'm just going to go around and do that. Whoa, I am not having good aim today at all. Okay. I think this is so pretty. I mean, I use pencil for everything. I would be in big trouble because you always have to change stuff. I really, I use pencils to color, but not to write with. I love it. Oh, yes. Okay. So now the next one that we're going to want to do is here because we want to cover that. Oh, I'm going to love all these. That one's pretty. Let's do that. Okay. Now, why don't we make this into a pocket here? Or actually, let's do one up here. All right. So I'm just going to go around here, even though maybe we should do a pink. Should we alternate, do you think? That's pretty. Maybe like, that's a nice segue, you think? All right. So we're going to make this into a pocket up here. If you want to, I like to do the notches and then I know, okay, that's going to be a pocket. You know, then I know to, I can slip something in there and it makes it easier to get it out also. Um, oh, that's pretty too though. I kind of like that. Let's do that one because then it's dark and then medium. 
That's pretty too, though. And that's the problem with this paper. I love it all. Um, guys, also, there's a new post up. And wait until you see what everybody's making, all the designers. EileenHull.com. Go ahead over and take a look. Okay. All right, so we're just going to cover that up. You would never know. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Just try and keep it straight. And let it, you know, press down. This is 49 in market paper, Helen. Notch on the top, yes. Invisible ink tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. That would be fun. All right, now here, I think I might decorate this side. Well, maybe I'll do another pink. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, look at that one. Man, I cannot decide. Maybe we should do a red. That's kind of nice. Let's do that. Oh, that's, you know what? That's similar. All right, let's do this one. And now I'm going to do a pocket over here. Or not a pocket. Well, yeah, a pocket. <laughs> Sorry. I might have had a couple Diet Cokes at lunch, and I'm a little jazzed up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to do our glue around here on this side, which is also pretty. Yeah. Of this. It was fun to see Janine over in Germany, and we have some plans to do some stuff together. So, what do you think of that? Janine is the owner, and um, well, Janine and Katie are the folks over at 49 and Market. Katie lives not far from me, she didn't come to the show, but. She will be at Creativation. Okay, now make sure, and if you want to kind of dome this a tiny bit, what I do is kind of nudge it up so that when I put something in there, it'll go. It's not so hard to get in there. And just press on it and make sure that's going to stay. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a little pocket, so I think I'm going to leave that. Uh, we could write on there or something. This is our pullout. So what are we up to? Let's do a pink. That's pretty. I'm always tempted to do pocket. Oh, look at that one, though. See, I want to do some that are just kind of plain, and that's pretty. So I think I will do another notch on the top, because why not, if you can do a pocket, I just eyeball and ever I should probably, but this is killing me to cover this. But that's why everybody wants to buy it because you can use either side. They're both beautiful. And I think these colors are just cool. All right, now this one is a little hard to see, so I'm going to that down. But look how easy this is, guys. This is not hard at all. And we've got a journal, you know, at the end of it. All right, we've got to get moving here. You in the same. All pockets all the time. Hey, Sharon. An erasable pen and started erasing in front of them. Glum, that could be why. <laughs> I'm changing my name. <laughs> All right, what are we, now we're on a red, but maybe, I like that. All right, now this is our pocket, and we need one for here, so we have one left, but we have plenty left, actually. I might want to do a double. I can cut more. I don't know. That seems fine. And this one is a top pocket, so maybe I'll do a side one here. Why not? 
and I'm going to have leftover pieces that I can make tags out of that are going to be so pretty. And plus I have those ones that Karen made. All right, so I want to do this. Make sure you use plenty of glue, guys, especially if you're using the craft because it just seems to not stick as well. Maybe it's just the kind that I'm using. I don't know. I love that with the butterfly. Oops. No, that's a little messy there. I would just get a like a baby wipe and just wipe that up. All right. So we're probably not going to finish this today. I was hoping we would. But... All right. Oh, that looks like the same. Oh, the butt. Oh, that's cool when you pull it out. Oh, all right. And then this one, I think that, don't you think? And let's just cover it. Not only journal, it could be a photo album. Oh, but I love that. Oh. All right, I'm going with the front. Yes, you could put photos in here for sure. Yep. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? How's it going? Oh, you know what? This is the one that's the short one. I'm going to put this here for now because I have my adhesive on it. But I might do something over here with this. Maybe like that. Oh, yeah. So I can still cover it, and that can be like a little pocket there. All right. Also, I have kind of messed that up there, so I'm just going to take my scissors and kind of angle that. It doesn't look as obvious. And then we have a nice little pocket here. Oh, that's pretty. What do you think, guys? This one, I just cannot decide. This one or this one? The dark or the light pink? <laughs> the struggle is real. I know. Glum, I hear you. It's killing me. It's summer there, and you're loving it. Oh, man. If you guys don't know, Mary moved to New Zealand, right? Like, a long time, not long time ago. When was it? Darker, dark, dark. Okay. Yep, got it. All right, so I'm just going to glue around the back here. And she is living the dream. Right, Mary? Do you miss us a little bit? <laughs> Probably not. You should see her house. It's amazing. I mean, I haven't been there, but I saw the pictures. All right, I'm back here. I mean, New Zealand. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. I didn't put the little notch, but that's all right. I love this. I know. A year and three months. You miss people in the U.S. Oh, that's good that everyone's friendly. Yes. I know. Decisions. Oh, okay. Christy, sorry. I saw three that said dark. I'm <laughs> with the dark. I like it. Okay. Let's see what we have. So here's our opening. We've got room for a little tag here. So that could be a fun little bookmark. You could have something tassel sticking out. That'd be fun. We have this one with a side pocket here. So this could be a photo. Here's another one that is a pocket. And this, you know, we could add something over here and cut out a little notch. And that could be a decoration or it could go there. You could have like a little belly band. Um, there, It's endless, guys. Then we have our fold out, so I might want to decorate that. But for now, you can see that we have the structure of our book, okay? So let's see how we want to bind this. All right, we just have a couple minutes, so let's get going on this. So what I think I'm going to do... Um, okay. Uh, all right. I think what I'm going to do is just use some elastic. So whatever you have, I'm trying to see if I have any pink. 
Hmm. I have this stuff. I've never tried this, but I think it is elastic. Yeah. Um, that might be kind of fun, don't you think? Let's do that. All right, so I'm just going to cut a piece here and just so I have enough to tie. All right, now I can punch holes in here. Hmm. That's a pretty sturdy spine. I don't know if I'm going to. Let's tie it and see what it looks like because I was ready to punch that, but. It seems pretty sturdy. Although, you know what? I think I am going to because I don't like when they kind of escape, you know, and they fall fall around. I don't know. Um, actually, this is two levels. Oh, there goes some beads. You guys would die if you would see all the stuff <laughs> I've been making leather projects because I'm I'm working with a company at uh, Creativation with leather. So last night I had to do samples because I had a meeting with them today, and um, there is just stuff everywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna punch a hole here in the middle. Look at that! Oh yeah. And then I'm going to do another one up here. And you could put eyelets in here. That might be kind of nice. But I don't have the small ones on hand. So I'm just going to tie this in. So I can put the end wherever I want. Now, this is thick elastic, but it's only going through one hole. If I had to thread it through two, I probably wouldn't use one this thick. But one width is good. All right, I'm not going to tie it too tight, but I do want my book to stay in pretty firmly. So this is where I can never tie. All right, that's caving in a little, but once we get the book in there, we're going to be fine. You used to keep your pretty papers for good, but you ended up with too much paper. You just tell yourself there will be new pretty paper in the future. That's true. Okay, so what do you think? Here we go. Now, I left it long in case I have to untie this and make it a little looser. Now, the other thing that I usually do is I do notches in here, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Look at that. It's perfect. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going upside down. Hang on. This is the right way. See, so that happens to fall right about in the middle. So that's going to keep my thing from really going crazy, even though we can if we want to expand it. Let's let's try it. Okay, that looks beautiful. I think that was a good choice. What do you guys think? All right, so then we have this one, pocket, this one, pocket here, pocket here, can hold lots of stuff. Look at that. The elastic looks really pretty with that. Do pocket or photo. Pretty one here. Now this could fold out, but it's working just fine. I like it. And then a little pocket here. This one is glued down and that's the end. Okay, now we have the calendar, which, hmm, you know what we could do is just like a little belly band with leather maybe down here so that we can slide that in and let that nest against the back and close it. It still works. And then what I was thinking about this, even though I love this cover, that maybe I would take the cover off and put this paper on just to unite the whole thing. 
or even a solid, you know. I love that. But I could use that on something else and just cover that up or use it as an insert book cover. So what do you guys think? Wouldn't work for you. Think of all the gorgeous paper. <laughs> it's not done by any means, but it looks really good. And it works. I mean, that's like the thing, you know. Okay. So I am going to finish this up because, like I said, I'm going to give this to my daughter. I wasn't sure if she might want the little one, which I now I think she does. She would. So I'm going to finish this up and maybe put some pictures of the kids in here, you know, just to make it hers. Make, like, some little things inside. I'll try and get pictures when I figure it out. And the other thing that somebody had a really nice idea the other day, which was to cut a pink heart and like put that on. Don't you think that would be really pretty? And then I could do her name on there, but I may even just do the heart. Like, you know, I think that would just be really pretty. Yes. Now you need to go get the paper. Yeah. The belly band that would hold it in, but I wouldn't because I could do another elastic, and I don't know if you guys know, I think I've showed you, but you can attach another book without having to add another hole. Let me just show you. Let me do it out of like some white that I have just sitting here. All right. So if I was going to do this for sure, I would use the pink, but I just want to show you how it works just quick. So you just go to the middle, tie this around, do your little knot, you like the heart? I, I think that too. Yes, she is a lucky daughter. Well, I'm a lucky mom to have her. She's really good. And she's close by. She's the one that picked me up the other day and gave me a lift to my car. But she's very thoughtful. Such a good mom. Okay, so now we have just tied it around here. All right. And you can put this inside if you like that better. You don't want to see it. Okay. So put it here, and then what you would do is you would take this and insert that like that, and you have another book. Now that's a little tight, so it's kind of sticking in there, but if you give it a little more leeway, you'd be good. All right, but isn't that handy? Look at that. Now we need a closure. Hmm. I love this. It's bumpy. Did you see this? Look at it. You could add three books on one elastic, one back to back. That's true. And then the original. That's true. You could emboss the heart on a piece of the leather. That would be pretty too. This doesn't emboss so great, um, this, because it's already treated. The back to back book slide under the original elastic. Yes, that is true. You could do that. If she wanted to add on more, I could give her more books. You know, the calendar could go in the front too. Anyway, I was also thinking, I just think, I wish that I had kind of stitched that on, but like, I don't know. If you get a bad stitch, you know what I mean? It doesn't look good on this side. And sometimes I'm not the most neat but i think it would be really pretty to be st i could do a heart stitch it and then glue it on or even like have a little pocket for something you know like glue down this part of the heart and be able to stick something in there if i wet it diane you know what happens this has already been treated um you almost need a leather that has not got any color or finish do you see how bumpy that is um, this elastic I got at Hobby Lobby. It was a while ago, though. Um, stitch the heart first, then glue it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I think a red heart would be adorable. <gasps> Mini red pen in the heart pocket, Janie Jane. Yes. Or 
you could do a pen loop on the back, you know. I like to use this piece from my journal die. Right, let me get it. This is like my favorite thing. Poor die. Look at how messed up it is. <laughs> but this this piece right here, I take that, I die cut it out of leather. Wait, let me show you. I have them all over the place if I can find a notebook. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Everything. Oh, here. Here we go. Okay. So this is... Uh, I'm, I have to redo this, guys. But here is my piece. So what I do is I take this piece right here and you fold it. This one I embossed. And I just squish it together, glue it, and then I have room for my pencil, which, as Glum does, I always have a pencil ready to go. So this is one of my favorite pieces, and you can use it for so many things. So use your dies, you know, find your favorite parts that you like, and um, then, you know, you always have your pencil ready to make notes, <laughs> which when you can't remember anything is all the time. <laughs> so, yes, you used the luggage tag die a few weeks ago, paper leather, and stitched it shut without marking the holes first, so they were totally lucky. <laughs> it actually looked okay. See how? It's amazing. Which die set is this? This one is called the Journal. Um, this is an older one. This makes a traveler's notebook size journal. This is a really good one, Helen. If you're looking for to start with a journal, this is a nice one. It's big. And you can cut it down and do half. Hey, Stacy, how are you? Pencils are number one. <laughs> she is so clever. Yeah. So that's the die that I got this piece from. When I design them, you know, I like to, if I have room left over, why not fill it with other pieces? So here I've got like a little tab. This is like a, a label. Um, Yes. Stacy, you're doing a million things. That's why you forget. You're young. You should you should still be good. I you know, honestly, I never had a good memory. I would like to blame it on being old, but like I just never never had it. So it's like I don't miss it that much. <laughs> That's like with people who are skinny, they get so upset when they gain weight. It's like I was never skinny. So I, you know, not that big <laughs> horrible. I <laughs> But you know what? I'm happy. What can I say? All right. Well, thanks for coming along, guys. This was fun, and I'm motivated. I want to get these done. I want one for me because I love this combination of colors. Anyway, you should try a black wing pencil. It writes like butter. Oh, yes. All right. Okay, guys. Um, Helen, I have some in my shop if you need them. All right. My Etsy shop, I think the link is up uh, somewhere. I think Glum posted it. Okay. Sorry this place is such a mess, but um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I have lots of work to do, so I'm going to be trying to power through. My husband is coming back tomorrow, so I don't have to clean because I was coffee dyeing paper, made a giant mess. <laughs> Um, sent to UK. No, Helen, you know what? I could, but the postage is high. I would contact Susan Siebert over at Country View Crafts. Um, she may have it. She was in the chat earlier, but she has a store called Country View Crafts, so she might may have it. Okay. Yes, you have a good weekend too, Mary. Enjoy New Zealand for us. We're all jealous. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, you know? All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on Tuesday, okay? All right. Make sure you make some stuff. Okay. I want to see it. Put it in the fan club. All right? Have a great weekend.